days, all days. Been a road, been a road. Yeah. Right, exactly. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, when you when when you when you down there, and you moving around, I, I, I had a, a brain freak. I was thinking about a scenario where you were talking about minding your business and yeah, yeah. and all and all that type of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. But I want to ask you when you before you went down, it's just like when you go from elementary to junior high, junior high to high school, see the Lord, Lord. And we, like you said, that's 30, that's 40 years. Exactly. It's 30, 40 years ago. But who were some of the names they were saying, man, when you get down there, whatever you do, stay out his lane because he don't got no reverse. It, 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 man, who were some of those? Even though they know they old, they, they retired, all who were some of those names that you could think of, man? I mean, that's a, that's a real good question for us, for a platform like yours, too. Uh, uh, but, uh, I, uh, just thinking since I was around, you know, uh, rest in peace to the dead. You got to say Mario, and yeah. I'm going to say that since something yeah, just happened. Yeah. But... You know, and, and remember, I went down Lord in '93. We ain't, we ain't going. You know my knowledge. I'm a historian. I, I walk and talk with everybody. That's exactly you why you're here because you're a historian. That's exactly why you're here. You I know, mean that in the humblest you know way, you, though. I'm, and I'm saying it in the humblest yeah, way. Yeah, like I'm a student yeah, historian. Yeah, exactly. All right, exactly. All right. no, okay, no, so no, that's I want to make it. That, that, all right, all right, all right. No. I want to make it clear that yeah. I'm talking about my era. We right. could we could go back as far as my knowledge and go. But you asked me questions about me. All right. So you know, when I got down there, you definitely heard about about Mario, you heard right. about Gator, right, yeah. you heard about Wendell, you heard about all these dudes that was there. But in that same era, which dang, it's still gonna take me out of my era of time. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of dudes had reputations for their hands. Mm -hmm. So you heard of Tony Fortune, mm -hmm. you heard of Fly, you wasn't gonna go to Lord without hearing about people like right, that, Fly, right, right, Rodney Shaw. Right. I could go on and on about these names. Right. Some of these names mm -hmm. may not uh, be names that's known nationally, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. we're getting to the Fed, but mm -hmm. you gonna hear about Titus. Mm -hmm. I watch YouTube uh, podcasts, mm -hmm. a lot of guys from all the way in California talk about Titus. Mm -hmm. So you, he you heard these names. And then there's a lot of names that I, I wouldn't even mention just now in this breath. Like you just said something about Tone, shout out to Tone. Mm -hmm. Tone was young then and you was already hearing his name so it depend on what type of thing you was talking about because Lawton was a who's who's place yeah, yeah. I, I mean always been yeah. I, I, that might be a DC thing because right, I mean yeah. I seen on somebody else's podcast they said man yeah I went down to Washington and they say whole names you mm -hmm. know what I mean they might say a name like uh, uh Cornell Jones that's the name that the guy used his whole right. name and uh right. I thought back like when I was coming up, they did right. just like me and you was just talking. Right. You mentioned the guy whole name. That's right. what we do when we going back. Right. But you know that that that's that's a DC thing, I guess. Right. But uh, for sure, those are some of the names that you definitely heard. And then some of the names of you know guys that's my age, mm -hmm. you know, they names start to evolve from them. Mm -hmm. But when you got off the bus, you definitely heard them names right there. Cause I like I said, I went to the wall in the nineties. If you went to the wall. You going you you definitely had to hear fly name. Right, you know right, what I mean? You right. definitely gonna hear Mario name. These dudes is dead. I got a lot of uh I got a I learned a lot from Gator and my whole experience in the wall. Mm -hmm. And for those that don't know the wall, mm -hmm. that's a serious spot back mm -hmm. there, uh down low. That's that's a hell of a joint right mm -hmm. there as far as what goes on. And when I say what goes on, I mean violence goes on everywhere. Mm -hmm. But on the hill it's open, right? So if you physically enough to take care of yourself you pretty much got it but in the wall the trick game comes to play and what i mean by that is that a person you know gonna lure you in you if you they friend and this happen uh they you on the cell the person put a knife on a broom stab you through the cell somebody put something in your food the game is way more sophisticated mm -hmm. back there mm -hmm. and i think that my experience was definitely eased a whole lot by my mm -hmm. meeting gator mm -hmm. so uh once i met gator gator taught me a lot of things back then i definitely had to double back and send a big shout out to gator shout out to Gator the Reginald the Gabriel, that was my man. He taught me a lot. He was definitely one of the dudes that uh you know directed me in a direction of being your own man down there. I learned a lot from him. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. the homie. Have you ever gotten an incident down Lawton that caused you to go to the hole? Where the wall is basically the hole, but in the wall I went to what you call control cells, right? Which mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. hole in the hole. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So uh yeah, me and a me and a partner of mine by the name of Andre Brown. His name was Stafford Zulu. Name changed his name while he was in prison. But uh, we was young and we was wild and we tried to escape from CTF. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can sit here and make it. You know, yeah. I can sit here and get it to you. But we yeah. we tried to escape and we yeah. didn't succeed. So you can imagine what they did to us, and we yeah. ended up in control. Oh yeah, yeah. I was trying to get home, do I? Yeah, yeah. You I hit that wall. I was yeah, trying to cross yeah, that yeah. graveyard over yeah, there. I read you that. Yeah, yeah. he was facing life sentences multiple right. times over at right. 15, we were 16, 17 years old. Right. I was 16, he was 17. So you know, you do things when you're cornered and you trapped. Mm -hmm. uh, 
other dudes make bad decisions because they can't figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by bad decisions is that, you know, if you live in a certain life and you choose to cooperate and change and do this and that, that's a bad decision. Mm -hmm. You know, I made them ultimately made a bad decision the day I tried to hit a wall, right. tried to hit the wall, but it was better than any other option I had. And it was the only option I could see. Right. right. What's the worst day you ever spent in prison? To be honest, I never thought about that. But see, I see you do that to SB on here. You ask him a deep one. But I ain't, I'm going to say, I'm ready for that one. I'm going to give you the answer. SB was sharp, yeah. sharp too. Yeah, he was on his, he was on his toe, yeah, but yeah. I just see how you did that. You know, shout out to SB. But uh, for real, if I had to answer that question, man, the worst day I ever spent in prison wasn't actually even in prison. It was a day that I realized that all the bullshit that I was doing running around in the streets as a teenager didn't just affect me. See, like when I was walking in front of that judge in them courtrooms, and they were saying, you're going to get life, you're going to do this, you're going to get 90 years. And my little young 16-year-old mind, I was like, all right, so what? I, we're going to do whatever. Like, mm -hmm. so what? But when I got sentenced, my aunt that raised me like my mother cried in the courtroom. It was the first time that I, that is crazy. It was the first time that I understood that what I was doing ain't just affect me mm -hmm. and it affected her. Mm -hmm. Right. And that was the only thing that was painful because I didn't realize her uh, what they did to me with the life sentence until years later. Right. Like in my mind, I was like, OK, my mom, I told you where my mind was at back then. I'm not going to sit there and act like that, you know, that I had some type of righteous goal. And right. I was caught up in the street. So it was like it's whatever. Mm -hmm. But if I had to say that would be my worst day in that whole 17 years that I did in jail, that was my worst day. Mm. I mean, in a, I done been in all type of things. I done been stabbed. I done been by the police. I've been maced. I've been hit with the electric shield. Mm -hmm. That's physical. Right. What I'm telling you is something that affected me emotionally. Emotionally, right, emotionally. So that's people, my worst uh, day. A lot of people don't understand. That was deep what you're saying, that you're not going to jail by yourself. You're taking yourself to jail. You're yeah, taking your family you to jail. You realize that. Jail. Right, yeah. It's just right. you. Like, I know a lot of tough, tough dudes. I mean, Armadillo tough. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You could send them anywhere. You can send them to Marion back then. You can send them to ADX right now. So what? Right. But it's something in their life mm -hmm. that is a, a soft spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah. in my my bed, that would have been that situation right there. Mm. So, but you've been locked up, you know, with a lot of DC guys from juvenile all the way to adult. So, was that your first time interacting with? The all all sections of the DC side, like northeast, southeast, northwest, or was you act, interacting with a lot of them even on the streets? Different sections. Nah, nah. When I was growing up, before I ever got, and I didn't do a lot of juvenile time. I wanted okay. to make that clear for you. I didn't really graduate through the ranks. I got right. caught up, went down C no, got out, got right. caught up again down Oak Hill, got out, right. ran, and caught an adult charge and was off to the right. adult prison. Right. But growing up you know uh you know we kind of came up in my little area we kind of came up set tripping like uptown was everything to us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and uh until i got mm -hmm. arrested and went down seating all received my home first because i did go over there first and i met a lot of guys like uh from like places like minnesota avenue mm -hmm. and uh clay turrets Lincoln heights those type of guys mm -hmm. i had never met them in person before i met them and a couple of those guys became my buddies all the way through adulthood. Mm -hmm. And then I went down Cedar Nall and Oak Hill a couple of those times. Then I met other guys like Saquon and Kevin Gray and different guys like that that was already, uh, you know, uh, powerful figures, even as juveniles, mm -hmm. so to say, mm -hmm. socially, mm -hmm. right? right? And, uh, you know, I maintained those friendships and those, uh, those associations. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just associations. Mm -hmm. Throughout all those years, but our city is so small and people who come from street culture that circle is even smaller. So as you go through what was the DC Department of Corrections, then in the feds now, you still run back into these guys. That's yeah. why many of us know each other. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So can you can you tell the difference as far as characteristics and swag or different movement to identify uptown versus southeast dude or northeast? Anything that ooze off now? Be, yeah. Now and then. Can you could you tell? Now to me now it's hard for me to all the youngest. All I was young, getting ready to say, I can't all, really all the youngest tell. Act, yeah, all the youngest act the same, but back then you can see a little. I'm not going to say all of them yeah. act the same. I want to, right? I'm going to say this. The ones that's, uh, that's just in the gangbang yeah, are active, okay. right? That's okay. just active because some of them now that's getting money active too. Right, okay. All right? The ones that's just active, I can't really tell them because they all got that same skinny, mm -hmm. long, all black dress, face mask. Right, you, right. I can't tell. Right. But the ones that's getting money, they can express their style and they right. whip okay. and they car right. and they girl. Mm -hmm. 
and the way they act at the club, sometimes I can, right? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. because I know what they do because they're a little bit outspoken. But I done seen little guys, not little guys, guys that's younger than me, right, young that's from Southeast that's getting money, that act the same way as some other young guys that's from uptown, they age in the club. So that's why I say I can't tell all the time. But, right. you know, here and there, I see now that a lot of people, let's say, for an example, uh, couple guys of my way, I'm not gonna name them for mm -hmm. a specific mm -hmm. reason, but all of them got the same whips. That mm -hmm. that was an uptown thing at one mm -hmm. point in time. Not mm -hmm. the exact same car, mm -hmm. but these the brand of cars. Okay. okay. So like little stuff like that I might say, but overall nah. Back in the day though, mm -hmm. which what I what, which I think a lot of us would say, and uh I guess I'm a young guy from back in the day, yeah, so yeah. I could still go a little bit yeah, back. Make me feel old. Go ahead. Yeah, I could yeah, go a little yeah, bit yeah, back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, back in the day, I for sh I would say for sure I could tell an uptown guy from a southeast guy just on you know the swag, the dress. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the lingo, because I remember and I I know this will create a debate in one of them circles, like them conversations you and Unique had yeah. when I was young, and all we said was young and Joe. Right. Man, there's a debate on what Southeast guy started Mo. Right. And I think that it's understood this Mo came out of Southeast. Would right. you agree? Yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. in my early time, it used to be a debate whether it came out of like Wellington Park or Valley Green. But the mm -hmm. first people I heard saying Mo mm -hmm. was like Chez, Saquon, and them shout out to Valley Green. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. some other guys debated me that he came from DC and some of the Wellington Park guy. I don't know. Right. But nevertheless, I used to could tell uptown and southeast between if you say hey what's up joe mm -hmm. or you say what's up mo now all the youngest may say mo right. or some other things mm -hmm. but you wouldn't find a dude in my earn time from uptown yeah. that said what's mm -hmm. up mo yeah I, I didn't even hear it till i was locked up mm -hmm. but those are just some little some little colloquial things yeah, that yeah, uh, i can yeah, remember yeah. Yeah, we we gonna get too far uptown. We got uptown on the guests here, got uptown on the couch. We know y'all. But see, real. I don't represent a big uptown yeah, 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 yeah. thing. Like I'm, I'm from uptown, but remember, I'm on that, I'm on, I'm on that DC or nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, bro. like no, I'm no. Where I, I just think fun of that, man. Because no, I, me too. I, I'm from Northeast, and I can I can personally say. Northwest definitely got the style. They definitely was trendsetter on the fly and swap. So we ain't even gonna wrestle with that. Like, we, we, I'm gonna concede all that right there, right? All right. I mean, I respect that. But I mean, for real, you know, let's let's be honest. You my big homie, right? Right. right. So I, I wouldn't even wrestle with you on that because I'm already hip. Do you know that history? Right. So you know what I mean. Shout out to all my good men from Northeast. All my good men citywide. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. But like I said, I grew up uptown. So the first guys I grew up looking up to right. is gonna be where outside your house right. i wouldn't step outside my house anywhere mm -hmm. but northwest so mm -hmm. i seen your big northwest guys and remember right. too a lot of guys that was uh, supposed to be you, you know the guys that you looked up to and i'm talking about from my age mm -hmm. range yeah your eddie mavis your Frey, your wookie your eggy mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. shout out to all them old times mm -hmm. like uh Daru. i mean all those guys mm -hmm. Some of those guys didn't even live in my part of town, mm -hmm. right? They just came to that part of town because Northwest was a part of town where a lot of things happened back then right. when I was a kid. Right. But those was the guys that I saw first. I saw their cars, I saw their swag, I mm -hmm. saw their jewelry. Mm -hmm. That's what attracted me to that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I like to make fun of just for barbershop talk, right? But again, like I say, I learned a lot from all over the city. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, just like Tone, we talk about our city, you know what I'm saying? That, I've been on that, you know what I'm saying, my whole life. Because, you know, I do it left the porch early, right? right? But it's like, it's funny you bring up the names you just mentioned, because it's like, like you look at a cat like Jay Z that's got an infinite bag, swag, to, you know, and on a, his own right, he got swag, right? But I'm like, I went to a concert, and I'm just saying, he just on the stage with his head cocked. I ain't seeing nothing shit come out of the He just right there, just rapping, going, and they going crazy, right? They say, man, he killing him up there. And I'm, I'm, I come up in the air with Michael Jackson, LL, and them shit coming out of the joint, <laughs> fire and all that, right? So I'm like, man, this, I need my money back. I, I, I seen Michael Frey when I was a kid. They said, this ain't, I ain't impressed by this. You opened your head on, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that swag joint is like, you made me think about it. You said you brought that Michael Frey one, man. That's a special one right there, man. Yeah, That's yeah, a special one. That's yeah, a special one. I mean, uh... That's a good point you right, made. Right, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think Jay-Z just started to exude swag in another way. Hey, this joint might almost be translucent, but yeah, yeah. He, he he's he, he's what he is in a different era and time. Exactly. Before Instagram, before right. any of the stuff that we talk about, them dudes had names that transcended, right. you know, all the way to uh, the Washington Post and things like that. Mm -hmm. Remember, you know, our local, and not just I was everywhere, but we talking about our local guys, 
you know, made the front pages mm -hmm. and um, not just the Metro made the front pages of papers, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they in the law books and immortalized or different type of things they did, even though they, they lived a life on the other side of the right. law. Right. But it's talking as far as that swag, you know, I think them dudes put it, uh, they really put a lot of things on the map from Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. popping up at, you know, fights and fashion shows yeah, and all yeah, that stuff yeah. representing exactly. a little town that's uh, a lot of people didn't even know nothing about if you wasn't talking politics or uh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen the joint on uh, um, that new movie, the BMF movie, mm -hmm. and they had a scene. They walked up the scene and they said, that's the DC guy. That's a, I looked at that, I said, man, they should have did it. They needed some uh, some people to change that fashion up there. I said, man, we weren't dressing like that, right? Uh, like, I, I, I heard, like, heard you and Kurt talking about like, that yeah, a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, I was yeah, saying, uh, I gotta uh, check that out. Yeah, yeah, uh, See, that's why they need consultants like consult, you. Exactly, you need a consultant, exactly, man. For real. To get, to get that one scene right and more other scenes, right? Yeah, because uh, uh, I seen, uh, and I, I want to commend you on that too. And uh, you know that Rafe Webman uh, DVD that came out while I was in prison, so mm -hmm. I was years and years and seeing it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, I noticed that in it, y'all had actual clothes and cars of the earth. I mean, shout out to Michael Greg. Michael mm -hmm. Greg had a Benz in that uh, mm -hmm. in that in that film. Y'all got a blue old Benz. Right, yeah, 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 but uh, yeah. somebody made the effort right. to put things in there right. from that earth. Like mm -hmm. you. you you got mm -hmm. to have a consultant, man. Mm -hmm. Make this yeah. stuff authentic. Yeah, shout out to Kirk Fraser, man. From May third, yeah. Fields. Shout man, him wrestling. He he was going going get the surgery, <laughs> feeny, the feel and everything. Right? Yeah, I saw that yeah. in there. Uh -huh. I just wanted to and, shout and, that and, out. And, and for the that. record, I had my clothing line all days wasn't back in the eighties. But since I was an executive producer, I say we need to we need to brand a little bit all days. You know what I'm saying? In this go to, like, but, you know but yeah, but Kirk yeah. definitely had the wardrobe there. Yeah, but I saw that. I mean, uh. And, and my dreams and aspirations of getting into filmmaking, that was one of the things that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw that that was in there, it was cars and clothes at that time. Right, exactly. And exactly. anything with filmmaking, I definitely wanted to do that though. Exactly, before I move on, make sure we let my man Jay-Z know, man, ain't no shot at you. We just talking about an icon. Oh, no, shout message. out to Jay-Z, that's one of my favorites. Get you on this couch right here, man, and, and you know, let you drop some jewels over here, man. Right. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days, yeah. Been a road, been a road. Look, man, make sure y'all log on to Kirkbone TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share it with a friend. I'm going to keep on bringing y'all interesting content, interesting interviews. I'm going to even let y'all get up think of topics to get me that we can talk about. I'm going to start going live. But what I need y'all to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications. Share it with a friend. Remember, Kirkbone TV.